Hey, Kelly. Hi. It's 2 o'clock. The baby was here at 1.36. My favorite part of the day was getting to hold Eli for the first time and to rock him and watch him sleep and watch his eyes open. Ten years ago, my husband and our baby boy and I were in a horrific car accident. Eli was 14 weeks old, so it was just a new baby. Life was perfect and just how it should be. I can't wait to see AJ being the best dad in the world because he will be that. And my husband was killed instantly in the impact. And our son was severely injured. It's now 10 years later, and I want to find the team of heroes that helped save my son's life and thank them. Our thank you project. Kelly Haddock, I spoke to you last week about the thank you event. That'd be really good. Do you know where she lives now? Is she still in Florida? Jody? Yeah. Hi, I'm Kelly. Hi. And you're Susie. I'm Susie. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's amazing to see you again. I don't know if you remember me. His dad loved him so much. And he's not going to know that man. There was a number of times where his beeping would stop and it would just be a long beep. He had bleeding on his brain, multiple strokes, and he was having really bad seizures. Respiratory needed to come in, and you were, you were just such an important part of saving his life. The doctor said it doesn't look good. If Eli lives, he's probably not going to be able to walk or talk or show motion. Hello, Kelly Haddock. Uh, my name is Bill Campbell. I received an email from the flight team that you uh, were looking for me. You guys getting him where he needed to, to, to be very quickly was, was really key in his survival. And um, I just, I am so grateful to you for what, what you were a part of doing. You were the first doctor that believed in us and believed in me and believed that there was a solution to help you like it better. And it was less than a week later that I got to drive my baby boy home from the hospital. There aren't words to describe. You don't think about it on a daily basis, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. You do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. That's how it's your job. Yeah. But when you stand back and think about yeah. the impact that you're making. Yeah. I've never been thanked, so. You know, you, it's really? not something you do for anything. Uh, you've never been thanked? Not after, not later. You know, wow. you don't see people. Yeah. So this is really special. Yeah. This is really nice. Wow. We're doing an event, okay. and we want to honor you at the oh, event. Geez. It would be such a privilege if you would come to our party so we can honor you and say thank you um, <laughs> there properly. And there's a picture of Eli, and he will be at the event, so you'll get to meet him. This is my, my new husband, Ted. You're, you're a lucky no. man. <laughs> you're very blessed. Yes. And, um, wow. He adopted Eli also, and wow. so now awesome. Eli not only is, is doing well, he has an incredible dad. It was not hard to decide to adopt Eli. It was a blessing from the beginning. But I do want to continue the story that he began and to honor him in doing that. This whole journey has been such a mix of the darkness right next to the beauty. I can't believe he's 10. Look at him. Mm -hmm. He's full. I think probably the best moment was when the people that helped save Eli's life stood up and to see all of our family and friends cheering for them and clapping for them. That was the moment that I've dreamed of for 10 years. Eli's face, I think of his smile, and I uh, then imagine what if that face didn't exist, or what if it had been snuffed out. None of us make it into life, or through life, on our own.
All right, you ready to stand up? There you go. 